Good morning guys, Mark here again and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you love cars and DIYs, please consider subscribing and check out my playlist. Alright, so today we're gonna do a DIY um, uh, again and um, I'm gonna share with you guys on uh, one of the makeshift tools that I often use um, each time I uh, do DIY, especially when I'm working with chemicals, uh, fluids, whether it be oil, coolant, uh, brake fluid, or gasoline, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I um, I actually um, saw this about uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, that's actually when I uh, first started using it uh, when I still um, work on motorcycle engines okay so stay tuned all right so today I'm gonna teach you on how to create your own vacuum bottle or basically a sax uh, suction uh, bottle that you can use uh, basically when uh, you're bleeding brakes I actually have a video where I used a uh, vacuum bottle that I uh, made or if you accidentally uh, poured in let's say too much coolant too much brake fluid on the uh, reservoir you can use this as well um, on motorcycles you can actually use this sucking out gasoline and basically using it to clean parts um, you can also use this to suck out gasoline on your car um, but I don't advise it um, on car as sometimes your um, the, the hose might get stuck inside and cause you problems okay unlike the motorcycle where you just need like this long of a hose to basically suck gasoline inside the tank okay um, what else um, this is actually a good substitute um, on most of the time mechanics use a uh, turkey baster uh, when working on fluids but um, yes it's inexpensive but the um, rubber uh, suction um, uh, what do you call that suction tube um degrades faster if you'll be working on like brake fluids and especially gasoline so it's not gonna last uh long compared to the one that we'll be creating right now all right so for today's diy all you need to have is a bottle soda bottle um uh, may it be a liter 500 ml or it depends it depends on the uh, type of job that you will be doing and uh, basically what's the purpose of uh, your vacuum or suction bottle so I already have two bottles created uh, suction and vacuum bottle but I'm gonna create one just for you guys so your bottle uh, make sure that it's plastic so it will be flexible like this or you can squeeze it like this okay no and make sure that it has no cracks no punctures no nothing because that will be the idea of us creating a uh, vacuum bottle now and then um, you can use a, uh, a leveling hose like this so the diameter it depends again with you guys so this one is um, used for uh, basically bleeding brakes or you can use this to as a suction tube as well okay um, I do have a few line holes um, for this one like this this is a uh, fuel line hose for motorcycle and um, your 
uh, Phillips screwdriver or anything that you can use to puncture a hole in your um, soda bottle cap. Okay. So this is very straightforward. Um, if you're going to create a uh, suction tube, you just need to create uh, one uh, hole in the middle um, just enough to make the um, hose snug fit inside but if you're gonna do a uh, vacuum tube for brake bleeding you, you need to create one for the hose and a really small hole for um, air to escape out out with okay so first I'm gonna show you on how to uh, create a uh, suction bottle okay all right so I hope you guys can see it um, first step is of course make sure that the bottle is clean especially if, if you're gonna work on with brick fluid and other chemicals so we don't want those uh, chemicals mixing up so first I'm gonna make a hole all right and then since I do have a huge um, Phillips screwdriver I might need to uh, measure it once in a while all right so uh, that's the hole now let's try to fit in the tube perfect all right now this is our suction bottle now how to use this all right so let's say this um, cup of water is the gasoline or your coolant and you accidentally filled it uh, overfilled it so using our vacuum bottle press it press the bottle down submerge the other end and you will see that the water is being sucked in like this okay and repeat the process lift up the hose press the bottle and get the fluid like this so it's it's harder to to squeeze because um, we have a huge uh, bottle but if you're gonna use this um, use a smaller bottle like a liter uh, with soft bottle it would be easier okay all right so that's the water that we collect so this is actually the bottle that I use for the one man um, break flushing and bleeding. Um, the, the cap is already damaged. I might over tighten it um, when storing. But the difference is you can see snug fit for the hose and there's a small um, hole right here um why there uh there should be a hose or a hole there if you're gonna use this as a uh a bleeding bottle um the idea is all right the idea would be is when the other end of the hose is completely submerged in, in brake fluid um when you press down the uh the pedal out air and fluid uh, basically uh, towards your bottle okay and then of course when you release the pedal it will suck uh, fluid 
and air back in so instead of um, the, the the fluid and air coming back in um, the air will escape right here and um, just a little bit of brake fluid will be sucked back so you wouldn't be back to square one okay so that's the idea right there and uh, never failed me ever since so it worked for me basically now this one as you can see the bottle is crushed because I use this as a um, a sucking bottle or uh, the old brake fluid um, on the reservoir and this is a, a fuel line hose um, this is softer and thicker um, compared to the uh, leveling hose okay but you can use this as well but I prefer using this because it's way softer and you will notice that on this bottle there's no small hole okay all right guys and basically that's how you create your own um, vacuum bottle your suction bottle a very inexpensive way on doing it uh, you just need very very cheap materials you can even get those materials on uh, garbage disposal um, but uh, <laughs> I don't recommend doing that you can the, the hose is really inexpensive believe me it's just around 15 Philippine pesos uh, per meter I believe and the bottle uh, you can uh, get those um, after drinking a soda um, or maybe you can get uh, one or used one on uh, maybe a store okay so yeah I hope you find this video useful guys um, if you do please give it a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing and check out my other videos um, uh, DIY and playlist okay and thank you so much for joining me today and see you on the next video